This is 21626 Martin. Um, I'm just making a new video because we have new, well, I mean, we can see more pipe now. So this is a drop, and I'm going to pull the camera out and show you where this drop is. But this is a drop, so we're, we're right behind the house where we just added a new uh, clean-out access point. And this is going towards the side where the uh, clean-out access already is. So we're going past the tree towards the neighbor's fence. Um, so this is the drop. That's a drop into the pipe over there. We got a, a whole bunch of roots cleaned out of this pipe. Oh, a few more, but here's a large separation here. So we're going to patch that separation um, just to keep it from collapsing and are trying to grow in there. So. Little separation there. We'll decide what to do with that. See, all, all these joints are a little bit separated. Um, and, and we're almost right under that tree, so it kind of makes sense. Pull this tiny bit of water, it's not worried about that. Dad, I'll have to get that cleaned out to see how bad that separation is. So that's our, let me wipe this camera off real quick. This is the clean out access we added right by the um, window here. So we were going this way towards the gate and then there's that clean out access over there which we were assuming ran out front and connected to the pipe in front of the porch or next to the porch out front. What's actually happening, because we got our locators out yesterday um, and followed the camera heads underground, what's actually happening is the pipe out front is turning that way and coming around this way and your whole sewer line goes out the back, the backyard, right in between those two trees um, in the corner there. So, uh, but there are lots of roots in this pipe going back um, and that's why we couldn't reach it and why we thought it was 145 feet going across the street where there's a sewer manhole is because it, it was going all the way around the yard. So the good news is we can reach it from the access over there now. So we'll get that all cleaned up, see how it looks. Um, but now I'm going to go backwards, go up under the house, under the slab here and show you what we're going to patch here. Probably got a couple more roots to get out of here. Cut out roots sitting there. I still need to blow those up. Get them out. Clean this, clean this side out. Let's see if I can even see it. But basically, there's just the only thing we need to patch here is under the house, um, and that is the transition that we talked about earlier. That we actually saw on the camera when I um, camera and jetted. Uh, from the laundry room. Oh, we're already into it. Okay. Hey, oh. uh, yeah, here. Okay. So this is our, that's our cast iron transition to clay crock. 
And this was the complete and solid blockage um, under the house that we blew out from the laundry room. And this is usually where you get most of your root growth is that transition there. So we're going to patch that. We're going to patch at least that separation that's pretty much under the tree in the backyard. And we are going to... Uh, we're going to finish cleaning out the line going back um, out out the backyard to wherever the main is and see how that works. The good news is you have nothing going under the street out front. It's actually awesome. So we'll get everything else cleaned up see how it looks.